problems. So we'll be solving some university problems as well. So this is a circuit, okay? This happens to be 12 volts. This is 0.25 ohms. Uh, I have a current that is going through this. In in the pro in the problem when you will be getting the problem, so the problem will be like this. Okay, so there would be no labeling. Okay, so labeling you have to do. So this is my circuit. This is a twelve volt battery. This is a twelve volt battery. This is point two ohms, and this is one ohm. And I have to find find these currents I one and I two. I find the currents in two, and the question will read like this: Find the current in two branches. So how do you go about this problem? Okay. First of all, you have to identify your current. Okay. So this direction would be you have to choose one direction. Okay. To do this problem, take some important points. Point point is number one is you have to label the circuit. Okay, by labeling, what I mean, you have to identify. Okay, identify the current and give an R bit. Ready direction. So arbitrary direction you have to suppose. Okay. Usually, if you are taking this direction, this direction is. If you you are seeing this, what is this direction? How is the clock? Twelve, one, two. So this direction is what? Clockwise. If you are taking the other direction like this, so this direction I will say this is clockwise. Okay, the other direction I would say is anti. Sorry, this is anti-clock. The other direction is clockwise. Okay, we have till this six, nine, eleven. So if it's going like this, then it is anti-clock. If it's going like this, is clockwise. So in this circuit, you have to number one thing is labeling the circuit. So this is minus. This is plus. It's given. This is minus. This is plus. It's given. So let's label. If I label my current like this, okay. Current in this is in clockwise direction. In this, so similarly in this also there is one more current. So, okay. I to every branch has its own current. Okay. Every branch will have its own current. Now, what is a branch? Now, you tell me what is a branch basically. See, a closed circuit, okay, a closed circuit that is completing a path, okay, like this. Is this circuit where here in this is a resistor? This is one more resistor. This is suppose this is resistor R one. This is R two. So this. Circuit is branch. Across this, you can apply KVL. Similarly, if you see another circuit like this, so see how many branches and how many loops it has. See what is the difference between a loop and a branch? Hmm? Okay. A loop is a closed path which does not contain any other closed path. Means here, if we see, this is one loop, two loop, three loops. But how many branches? See, one is here. Uh, one more thing is that across any branch, I can take KVL. So here also one more. See, if I label this A, B, C, D, E, here also it will be remain same because it's the same potential. I've shown you. There is no point interconnected. Okay. This point is also E. So you, when you are seeing this particular circuit, so I can say there are three loops. Loop number one, I will say A B E. Loop number two, I will say B C E. 
loop number three, I will say CDE. But what about branches? See, these are also branches. But apart from that, see, A, we can also apply KVL across A, B, C, E. This is also a branch. A, B, C, E. Here also. So fourth, I can write A, B, C, E. I have a still bigger branch. Okay, that is A, B, C, D, as well as E. So I can write fifth A, B, C, D, as well as E. So I see uh, there are five uh, branches. Okay. Now about this circuit, we have like uh, to get the value of I1 and I2. So we can see, first of all, let's label it. This point is A. There is no point in between, okay? And it's connected in parallel. So this point remains A. This point remains A. Okay, similarly, this point is B. This point is B. This point is B. So what we see that a current is, is moving from point A, okay? This point I1. And it is going down here. Okay. It is this current will be going down here. So one thing is this this point uh, will be A. So this current is going how it will go. How it will flow at this juncture. Hmm? It will go down here. It will go down here. Okay. What is the current here? It is I2 which I have already written. What is the current here? Let's suppose I3. So I can write I1 is equal to I3 plus I2. That would mean what? That would mean if I have to write I3, I3 I can write I1 minus I2. Okay, now let's see, consider this loop one. Let's, yeah, any doubt you are having? Yeah, tell me. Anybody is having any doubt at any point, you can stop me and ask. Okay, this let's consider this loop one. Loop one would be this A A B B. A A B B. Okay. Loop two will be again A A B B because it's a parallel network, so don't worry about it. So let's consider this first loop. Okay. So now uh, if you go to the books, now you have to apply KVL. So what I have told you in the very beginning, how to assume the current directions and voltage polarity. Now here it is showing like this. Current is showing like this. Okay, current is showing in this circuit. Current it is showing like this. That means uh, if I redraw this uh, circuit or here itself, if I show you, so tell me, uh, like current is showing like this. That means this orange it's going like this. Okay, so this is low potential. This is high potential. So I have told you in the very very beginning, this is your minus plus. If your current direction is like this, this would be what rise in potential. A rise in potential you take always positive, okay? Take it positive and fall in potential negative. So fall in potential will be when when this is plus minus and the current direction is reverse. And across every uh, you see over here, here it uh, so here it, it would be plus and minus. Here it would be see across every resistor. Resistor is essentially a bulb. If you are connecting a bulb at your home to any battery, when you are switching on the bulb, there would be drop in potential, always a fall because it is an energy absorbing element. So you have to understand the practicality before you are solving the circuit. Okay, if you go to any book, they will take 12 as minus, this as plus. So you get confused. So take this 12. Okay, this is V rises 12 here in the circuit. What is the fall in this circuit? So the fall in this circuit would be, yeah. Fall in this circuit would be point across 0.25, there is fall. Okay. So this is 0.25 into I1. 0.25 into I1. What else is the fall? Across this 0.2 into I3, because this is flowing here, plus 0.2 into I3, this is also fall. Now take this case, okay, take this case, the current direction, if you see, uh, you're you seeing is like this, it's going like this. So across this, it would be plus and minus. Across this 12 volt, it is plus and minus. So what I have told you, when you are taking plus and minus, it's a fall in potential. Take this as negative, okay. 
So across this 12 volt, you will take it as negative minus 12. Now you can get the value. Okay, this is plus 12 minus 12. This is 24. This is 0.25 I1 plus 0.2 I3. Okay, I3 value. I have told you the value of I3. Yeah, thanks, sir. I3 I3 value. I have told you the value of I3. What is the value of I3? The value of I3 we here we have seen I3 is I1 minus I2. So you can substitute here. So 24 is equal to 0.25 I1 plus 0.2 I1 minus I2. So you got one equation. You got one equation. Okay. So yeah. So I'll be rubbing this. So yeah, this will not go. I think this does not go. So yeah, now uh, across the loop two, if you have to apply, what is the rise across the loop two? If you see the orange direction over here, across the loop two orange. So this again in the loop two, this twelve will become because you are applying in loop two. Loop two I two is going like this. So you can you tell me the loop two equation? How you will write across the loop two? V rise would be V rises. No, no, no. V rise is 12 volts, not minus. Because I2 you have to take. 12, it is rising. See here, the direction is like this. It is it is going like this. It is like this. It's moving like this. Okay, so it is going up minus 2 plus. It is going like this, minus 2 plus. Positive. Okay. So, across the resistor, you already know. If you have any confusion in the resistor, how to take, na? You can write plus minus no need actually no need to write this plus minus whenever you find a resistor usually and the current direction is like this okay it would be see here again plus to minus now it's flowing plus to minus okay plus to minus is negative now so this 12 volt would be equal to point okay so this 12 volt has to be but across this loop too you have to see this would be equal to 0.2 of I3, 0.2 I3. So 0.2 I3 plus, and uh, one more thing you have to notice is that what is the direction? This direction of I3 is going downwards. Okay, downwards. The current here is flowing minus to plus. Is flowing uh, minus to plus like this, minus to plus. Whereas you are seeing with respect to, you have to see with respect to this current over here, okay? So this current is important for you. So you will write 12 volt is equal to 0.2 I3, okay? So plus what is then left here? I2, okay? I2. I2 is fall. So this is what you are writing is V rise is equal to V fall. So I2 into 1. So one mistake we have done in this. Tell me what is the mistake we have done? Tell me. Minus 0.2 I3. Ah, minus 0.2 I3. Why, why it is coming minus 0.2 I3? Tell me. It's opposite to the direction of flow of voltage. Sir. It is opposition to the direction. No, no, no. It is See, what I have taken, see here, if you are categorically seeing, this this over here, what it what it is this? 0.2. See, you have, it is basically 0.2 I3. Okay. So, the direction of I3 is like this. Okay. If this is my plus point, this is my minus point. I have told you. Plus point, minus point. The direction of I3 is like this. Okay. So, plus, minus. So, is plus, minus happens to be V rise. Happens to be V rise. Okay. The, practically, you understand. See, V rise would be V rise would be here. This is called V rise. Okay. So when the current is flowing in the direction of rising potential, that we take as positive. So ideally, this 0.2 I3 should be here. 12 plus 0.2 I3 is equal to I2 into 1. So what this is, this is my V rise. And this is my V fall. So in any uh, loop, in any loop, V rise should be equal to V fall. Understood? Now here 12 would be equal to minus 2 I3 
into I1. So again you can this minus 2, again you can minus 2 instead of I3, what is there? I1 minus I2. Okay, sorry. Plus I2. Plus I2. So I1 minus I2. I, yeah, that's what I have written. I1 minus I2. Minus 2 instead of I3, I have written I1 minus I2 plus of I2. This is equal to 12. Can you solve these two equations? Hmm? Got my got, got these equations. So if you if you take uh, carefully look at huh? Okay, okay. If you if you will uh, take this um, carefully, if you analyze, okay, this particular circuit. So you notice that uh, you calculate for uh, loop one and loop two. So you tell me the values of I one and I two. Yeah, tell me now. See from here uh, the equation one. If you solve equation one, how much it will become? If you are solving equation one from here, okay. So you can get this equation one when you are reducing this equation one. So are you getting equation one would be? Twelve. Uh, tell me. Twelve. Twelve is equal to point two five I one. Yeah. See here. Here should should it be minus or plus? Here in the equation one. Just notice here. This is rise. V rise. Okay. Fall is 0.25 I1 is fall. Okay. Uh, again, here it is fall. Point, okay, 0 0.2. What about this point? Plus to minus. Na? So plus to minus is again fall. Na? Plus, to, plus to minus. This is fall. So I have taken V rise is equal to V fall. So why I have taken this as minus? This should be plus. This should be plus, isn't it? Hello? Yeah, are you there? Yeah, this should be yeah, this should be plus over there. If we are following the principle of V rise is equal to V fall, so the rise part is what? A rise part we know is 12 volt is rise part because this is rising from minus to plus from low to high potential. But the same current over here it is like going down. Okay. So I have written V rise is equal to V fall. So V rise is 12 volt rest across this fall. Across this fall, I have summed up fall fall point. So here it should be plus. So this should be zero. This should be zero. Are you getting my point? Hello? Yes, sir. You got my point. So yeah, identify now whenever I'm doing any mistake, simply don't copy down. So you play with your mind when I'm see this is a technique wherein you cannot make any mistake. That's why I'm teaching you like this. See, ideally, if you if you remember that your V rise point is equal to V fall. Okay. So you know that across the resistors, it would be always mostly it would be fall until and unless current direction is reversed. Okay. So this is 12.25 I1 plus so this becomes zero. So if you solve this equation, so you solve this equation, so you get 0.25 I1 plus 0.2 I1 minus 0.2 I2 is equal to zero. So if you solve this equation, it becomes 0.45 I1 minus 0.2 I2 is equal to zero. Similarly, you solve the other equation and tell me the equation. Tell me the value of equation for the other point. Tell me. Here you tell me, here it would be 12 is equal to minus 2 i1 minus minus will be plus plus point 2 i2 plus i2 so it will be around minus 2 i1 plus 1.2 i2 is equal to 12 so you have this equation 
equation one and you have this equation as equation two equation to what my point so if you solve these two equations we'll get the value of i1 and i2 so solve these equations elementary 10th class i'll be yeah solve what is the value of i and tell me the value of i1 and i2 hmm? Yeah, tell me the value of i1 and i2. Yeah, tell me. I1 is, I1 4. I1 is equal to 4.8. 4.8. I1 is equal to 4.8. Okay, i2. 10.8. 10.5.4. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8. 10.8.
is it practically possible for example if i have only this i don't have a voltage source on the other side okay i have a network like this okay is it practically possible uh, for see for this voltage source it will be having some current this current is only getting divided okay like here if i'm taking this direction and this direction is it practically possible for this current to get divided like this no why because it's not having its own voltage you got my point uh, so that is the reason see yes. the thing is that why i am preferring see electrical engineering is not about mathematics or like solving the circuits okay or like uh, solving equations but it is practical stuff when, whenever you will be learning any problem if you understand the practicality behind it how it has done and how it is uh, done so you are able to solve many problems let's suppose there is one more problem that okay in the same circuit of the previous uh, uh, if i ask you to find the current through one ohm resistor okay and the power dissipated in one ohm resistor so find the current in one ohm resistor you can easily find the current in one ohm resistor how can you find in the same circuit of previous like this circuit i have drawn see in this very circuit if i ask you the one ohm resistor current can you find current in one ohm resistor here in the circuit yes you will say yes sir it is i2 is the current in one ohm resistor i2 is flowing across it so how much is i2 uh, sir we can uh, know that this is 10.8 amps and what about the power dissipated here sir power dissipated here would be i square r so this is i square into r so 10.8 square into 1 so this happens to be 116.64 watts now let's go for one more problem that is appeared in vt examination these are problems i'm taking recently uh, so yeah so i am okay obtain obtain the potential obtain the potential difference obtain the potential difference vxy in the circuit given below in the circuit given below so I'll, I'll be drawing the circuit so this is my circuit this is minus this plus minus plus so this is 24 volts this is my resistance 2 ohms this is 3 ohms so 2 ohms 3 ohms this is my point x over here ok x and what I am connecting as a voltage source here. This is my minus, this is my plus, this is my 4 volt voltage source. This I am connecting to another point Y. This point is Y. And another voltage source I am connecting. This is my plus point, this is my minus point. And this is Y ohm. This is plus minus. So I see two loops are there. So, suppose in this particular circuit, okay, ideally it is not possible, like you told, to take the current direction in a practical network. But suppose for the sake of question, we will take two directions here, we will keep it anti clockwise. Okay, here I will keep clockwise. You, you, you just see this is a question, and the answer you will get uh, will astonish you and which is not practically possible okay can you have practically minus 3 volts can you have have you heard any battery any cell which is having minus 3 volts no, in anywhere no. in anywhere in the world if you give me i'll give you one crore rupees if you give me minus 3 volt but it will have an this arbitrary answer okay so this is for the sake of solving but practically you should not but you usually whenever you are solving a problem Ideally, in an ideal situation, you never do like this, okay? 
never take uh, the difference uh, like one circuit this another this you will get a negative answer that negative answer you have to negate in the end and you have to write the positive value only because it's not possible to have minus 3 volts now suppose it has it has been given by the examiner they are be becoming a little bit you know fantasy question they want to create and they have created this and it has appeared re recently now if you see i took this question ideally to explain you people because you asked me this loop 1 there is loop 2 so we clearly say this is a x okay and this point let be b b okay and this is this point is y this point let's see c this point let's see d and e so i can say a x b circuit apply kvl so you can see what is the apply kvl what is the voltage rise so here here the direction of this is like this okay like this so uh, this is plus minus okay this is plus minus so it's like this so it happens to be across the resistors there is voltage rise and across this there is drop see here this is falling in the drop direction so even if you mistake for example even if you write the voltage rise is equal to voltage fall suppose you take directly like practically you know that if there is a battery it's a rise if there is a, a resistor it would be a fall so you'll write directly 24 volt is equal to 24 volt is the battery and uh, uh, rest is fall so you can write uh, directly 24 volt is equal to 2 i1 plus 3 i1 no problem but in actuality if you see this circuit see here actually the rise is happening here 2 i1 plus 3 i1 is equal to this 24 volt so you you are not getting any mistake you are getting my point even if you write like this or like that without thinking about these things when you are taking this so you, there would be no problem 24 is equal to 5 i1 so i1 value you got i1 value is 24 by 5 okay i1 value is 24 by it is 2 sorry it's not 24 it's 2 volts okay i1 value is 2 by 5 It is two, two. Here also it is two by five. So the value of two by five would be around point four amps. Okay. So similarly, now in loop two. Okay, consider loop two. Loop two is what C D E Y. In loop two, you have direction like this. Okay. So The direction is like this. Okay, so minus plus. So that this means across this point and this is four volts. So sorry, four volts. So this is voltage rise. Okay, and this is three ohms. You know, this is voltage rise. This is plus minus. So across this, you know, there would be fall, and this is plus minus. Okay. So here you just see what is your voltage rise. Voltage rise is four volts. V rise is equal to four volts. And what else is voltage rise? Okay, across this three there is fall. But what about this? Huh? Plus minus across this five ohms. Is this five five ohms? Hmm. Yeah. So across this three and five, there is what is there? There is. Tell me. The V rise is four volt. Across this three ohm also fall. Across here also fall. Okay, this is fall plus minus plus. So across E fall is three I two plus five I two. So you can write E rise is equal to V fall. So you get around four volt is equal to eight I two. So I two is equal to four by eight. So this happens to be around. Tell me. 
0.5 amps. Now is the question that you have to find V and X and Y. Now if you clearly see there is a voltage, there is a potential difference. If you see here, this if you write this V, X and Y is see if you connect like this between V, X and Y, what is connected? If you remodify the circuit, you just clearly I'll show you. If you remodify this circuit, so you see there is a voltage, this X and Y voltage is over there. You can write like this. VXY. This point from here. Between VXY, what is connected? 4 volt. So you are, you are being connected with this 4 volt. Okay, but if you analyze you forgot about, about this 4 volt, okay? You forget about this 4 volt for the time being. Between this point, between X and Y, there's a potential difference, okay? Between X and Y, there's a potential V, X, Y. X and Y, I connect, and I connect and fictitious, okay? It is connected. And between X and Y, I, I say there's a potential difference, I see. And between Y point, there is 3 ohm resistance. There is 3 ohm resistance. After after this 3 ohm resistance, what is connected? A 4 volt battery is connected over here. After this 4 volt battery, what is connected? A 5 ohm resistance. So my circuit, I can reduce like this. This is my 3 ohm, this 4 volt, and this is uh, resistance again. This is, this is, yeah, Th this is 3 ohm, 4 volt, and yeah. Are you getting my point? No, sir. See, what I'm doing is that between X and Y, uh, I have connected a fictitious point, potential difference. Because, X, because across X and Y, there would be a potential difference. Hmm? And when the potential difference gets over, I have a th 3 ohm resistance, okay, connected. I have a 3 ohm resistance connected. I have a 4, 4, 4, 4 volt, 4 volt uh, battery. And I again have a 3 ohm resistance. I'll, I'll show you, you're getting a little bit confused. I'll rub this over here. This, this you noted down, right? This I, I, can I rub this? I'll rub this. Huh? So you know this. This is loop two point. Okay. See here. I need some. Yeah. And I'll read it, please. Yeah. See this. One more time. I'll draw and explain. See, this is two volt. Huh? And this is two ohms. This is three ohms, okay. So you are getting doubt. So okay, this square has come, so don't worry. This is uh, this is your two ohm, okay. This is your three ohm. This point is X, and this point is this point is C. This between this, there is four volt resistance connected, okay. Four volt, there is three ohm, okay. There is plus minus. There is this five ohm, five ohm, and this is four. Sir, ohm. two volt, sir. Huh? Which one is two volt? Yeah, two volt only. Two V. I have written, not twenty-four. That the plus and minus you made opposite, sir. Where I made opposite? At starting. Okay, 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 okay. Plus this minus okay. Not there, plus. sir. At starting two volt. So between okay. point A and B. Between point okay. A and B. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So here I'm talking you about this circuit. Okay, this particular circuit. Here you see. See this point is X. Okay, uh, and uh, this point is Y. I'm telling to see this 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 circle. I will draw. 
okay x and y here between x and y there is some potential difference okay so this is the potential difference v x y okay because x and y there is some potential this is not 4 volt is not the potential difference 4 volt is the potential difference between point b and c b between x and y there is some potential okay so there is some potential then between x and y after x and y what i encounter after x and y if, we, if i clearly see between x and y point i have this 3 ohm resistor so i write this 3 ohm resistor i have this 4 volt 4 volt uh, source so i have this 4 volt source after the 4 volt source i have 3 ohm so i have this 3 ohm so ohm so this is this is between x and y point between x and see if i have to reach like for example if i have to reach this destination i have to reach x and y huh? from x point to y point by road how can i uh, reach by road by road means how can i reach first i have to go like this huh? x then to go, go, go like this Yes, sir. And then go like this. Okay, so I'll drop this direction, same color, so you will not understand. Suppose I have to go. Yeah. So how do I go? I have to go like this first. Okay. So between X and between X and Y, I know between these two points there is a potential. So there is a potential difference between these two points. First I have to identify this potential difference. Once I have a potential difference. After the potential difference, I encounter I have to go between X and B. So X and B three ohms. Then I have to go between B and C. B and C four volts. Then I have to go between C and Y. C and Y three ohms. And between between now 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 you will tell sir why sir you can X and Y means only three ohms four volt and three ohms. The circuit should be like this three volt, four volt and three ohms. Okay, this should be the circuit between x and y from where this uh, you have brought this v x y is this doubt hmm? are you are you following are you following this point see between see between b and c there was a, a, a potential difference between two points there would always be an potential see this, this is at a different potential this is at a different potential now if you have to go if you have to understand if you have to calculate this potential v x y so there between these two points, this is the potential V X Y. Then what comes in between is these these points. Are you getting my point? Any doubt? Now again, if you apply uh, your uh, this thing uh, K V L and you have taken the current direction like this, okay, like this. If you are taking the current direction, so this would be rise, okay, and plus minus and uh, plus minus, okay, plus minus whatever it is. So you have to notice one thing clearly here. See what is the original direction of I1 is different. So here this is 3 for I1. So across the I1, okay, across the I1, so it has to be like, uh, uh, if you have to see, this is uh, minus plus, this is minus plus. So you can write V, X, Y, okay, plus 4. Because minus plus and minus plus here also. Minus plus, minus plus means rise is equal to now you will say sir this is this 3 wala to i2 ka hai i2 ka hai theek hai this 3 i2 to fall no problem but here if you notice this 3 okay this 3 i1 wala to as a fall aana chahiye na fall but here direction reverse hai either either reverse hai i1 ka direction isiliye that's the reason it will become minus 3 i1 okay now, if you calculate the value, tell me the value of this. If you calculate the value and sub, because already you have calculated I1 value, you have calculated 0.4 amps, and I2 value, you have calculated how much? 0.5 amps. Now, tell me the value of VXY. So, if you calculate this value, it will be minus 3.7 volts. Is it possible? Hmm? No, it's not no, possible. No, no. Why? Why it was not possible? Because the directions we have taken over here, 
one in this direction one in that direction is wrong actually okay there's a fictitious direction if you are still having any problem please i'll explain you one more time anywhere if you are finding problem please tell me because understanding of concept is very important why i have taken this see here i have taken this as v rise okay this as v rise so i have written v rise v x y plus 4 and here if you notice this plus minus over this uh basically this is the direction okay this is the direction so plus to minus this ideally should be fall across this but what what is the direction there direction there is like this direction there is for i1 is like this so it has to be vxy plus 4 minus 3i1 and the only fall item here is 3i2 So, uh, uh, sorry, plus three i one here. Plus three i one. This would be v x y plus four is equal to three i two minus three i one. So the values you will substitute and get the answer. Any doubts you are having? Hmm. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Ah, uh, did you follow, Harshita? Harshita. Yes, sir. Uh, any doubts you are having anywhere? No, sir. On Shasti. No, sir. Are... Okay. Any any point you can stop me, okay, and ask me. I'll explain. Yes, so, sir. Okay. If you are having any doubts, because this has appeared uh, in video examination problem, so these problems we have to see. It has just you now recently appeared in the exam. Uh, it has uh, appeared in uh, July. I think 2019. So this is the V2 exam problem. This is how the problems in exam will look like. Okay. So now one more question. Let's see from the exam that has appeared in December 2014. Sir. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Sir, then for the previous uh, problem, do we leave it as minus or uh, write a statement and? Uh... No, no. It is up to you. You can write a statement or you can leave it as because the question in itself is like that. Okay. You get full marks in both the cases. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yeah. Now find the values of current in all the branches of the network. Okay. Okay. network shown below so i have a network like this hmm. Okay. So let this be A, B, C, D, E, F. And this is thirty amps. This is seventy amps. This is eighty amps. This is sixty amps. This is sixty amps. This is one twenty. amps okay so we have to find the values of current in all the branches of the network so how do you find the current in all the branches of the network see 
the initially you have to take from one point A. Suppose from this particular point A, the current has entered, okay, and has divided into two. So here it has gone around I, okay. So what about the other point where it will go? So this I is getting divided into sixty, and here here it would be. I minus sixty. Okay, and then here plus sixty is coming. Then here again there would be I. Then again, if you notice there here, I minus one twenty. Okay, then here one twenty is coming. Again there would be I. So there, how much it would be? Hmm? See, now this is eighty. this was one of the examples okay so i want you people to solve this okay take this as a homework problem okay so tell me what would be the uh, current in fe ab bc cd okay ef so this is a very simple problem okay very 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 simple problem okay now uh, can you will be able to do it hmm It's very simple, na. This is appeared in a video problem. I think like you must be able to do it. It's very simple. First of all, you have to consider the loop. Okay, the A. What is the loop? A B C D E F A. This is the loop. So, in the loop, the current I in in the branch A B. You suppose the current I is in the branch A A B. So you apply K B L and K C L simultaneously. Now, if you are applying KVL, okay. One more thing, one more important thing. I, I just, I just, 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 okay. Yeah, here there, there is resistance point two ohms, point one ohms, okay. This is point one ohm. This is point three ohm across the resistance across the branches. Point one ohm, and across this it's point two ohm. Sorry, sorry for this. Okay. Now, if you are having this problem, okay. So, if you are applying KVL. And KCL simultaneously. So according to the KVL, okay, if you see, uh, you will have this KVL voltage in AB. What would be the voltage in AB? Tell me. It would be the resistance into current. If I have taken the current I and resistance is point two, so the voltage in AB would be point two I. Okay. Then what would be the voltage in BC? BC the voltage would be point one. Into I minus sixty. Similarly, what would be the voltage in uh, CD? It would be point three into I. And similarly, what would be the voltage in DE? It would be point one into I minus one twenty. And similarly, what would be the voltage is voltage in point one ohm. So in in the point one ohm section, if you notice, uh, you are having in DE one I minus one twenty. At E seventy is entering, so minus one twenty plus seventy, it will be I minus fifty. I minus fifty in FE branch. So in FE branch, you, the current would be I minus fifty into point one. Now you notice that uh, the current thirty is leaving. Thirty is leaving. So the current in uh, current in point two ohm would be I I I minus fifty minus of thirty. So what would be the current in FA branch? It would be I, I minus eighty. I minus eighty. I yeah, very good. I minus eighty into point two. So once you get this value, so you get the value of current I by solving this. Then you have current in 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 each branch. BC you know is I minus sixty. Calculate CD you know it is I. Uh, DE you know it's I minus one twenty. IEF uh, in EF you know it's I minus fifty in FA you know it's I minus eighty so like that you have to see first of all what is the most important in this particular circuit is that you have to identify okay so again now my dear fellow friend if you will do in this problem first you will go like this then you will go like this will you get the answer in the same circuit you will go like okay. this then you will go like this huh? Suppose I take this, I then I will take this is also like something. Will you get? Will you reach to a conclusion? 
i will tell you how it is here is delhi this is bangalore okay we know the delhi to bangalore is like this suppose you go like this you will reach delhi and suppose you initially till here you go like this then you come back will you re reach anywhere hmm will you reach to your destination huh no, sir same similarly no, sir. similarly is the case with the circuit so this is the this these two questions i have specially designed so that your uh, mind gets deviated from whatever the natural mistakes the students are making i have noticed they are making the natural mistake so again let's for those people we will repeat this question otherwise i thought i will give this as a homework problem but uh, see you will have a workbook okay in my now my google i'll create a google classroom therein i have a workbook also so in that workbook uh, the moment i am giving you homework you have to do that homework whether it is right wrong i will give marks full marks if it is wrong also but you have to try you have to try on your own And then from your homework solution don't ask any person i'll give full marks no no need of copying only marks will be given to those people in homework who are doing homework uh, and if those people who are copying homework they are not benefiting themselves okay so that i can come to know where you are lagging because some people are shy they are not telling by seeing the homework like how you have approached i can come to a conclusion like i can get a feedback of yours and what you are following because now it's a virtual class it is very impossible to, to come to you and see check each and everybody's level of understanding so this workbook would be followed from tomorrow so again i will repeat this question see here for those people because most of them some of them must not have understood it see first of all you have to identify the path ab across ab there is a current iab okay this current i take to be as first i keep this as i okay then there is a current across bc ibc so as far as ibc is concerned 60 current goes out so the, that that means 60 amps plus this bc ibc is equal to ibc would be equal to i minus 60 so i write my bc ibc value to be i minus 60 now for this i minus 60 i minus 60 is entering and for i minus 60 what i find is that i am getting a current hmm, plus 60 current is entering so what is the current entering at this point uh, at cd point at at c at c plus 60 is entering so at c i minus 60 plus 60 and this point is leaving c at the node c if you see here see here at this point i minus 60 plus 60 is going to this side so this becomes i minus 60 plus 60 this becomes i c d so i c d i come to know happens to be i again now if i see at the point d at point d at point d what i feel at point d what is leaving at point d i is entering and 120 is leaving okay and plus id is leaving so what would be id equal to id would be equal to i minus 120 so id is i minus 120 so okay now again at point e this point at e what is entering entering is what is entering tell me i minus 120 is entering plus what is entering 70 amp is entering because this is all entering this is entering this is entering what is leaving this ife is leaving so ife is leaving so ife would be equal to i minus 50 okay now at this point f we have to see this point f at this point f i minus 50 is entering okay so i minus 50 is entering what is leaving 
थर्टी एंड वॉट इज प्लस आई ए एफ I A F, so I have to see I A F. I A F would be equal to I minus fifty minus thirty. So this would be equal to I A F would be equal to I minus eighty. So this is I minus eighty. This is I minus fifty. Yeah, this is I minus one twenty. So when I I I have to take the K V L equation across this. Okay, so K V L equation if I have to take the kvl equation this is like how it is entering and leaving okay then you have to take a kvl equation across this network so kvl all the currents you know and all the voltages you know so you just go ahead with the kvl equation the algebraic sum of the voltages in a network is equal to 0 so the what would be the algebraic sum at okay so this is 0.2 into i okay plus here I minus sixty into point one. Then here, this is I minus this is I again. I into point three. Okay, plus I minus one twenty into point one. Plus I minus fifty into point one. Okay, plus I minus eighty into point two is equal to zero. When you solve this equation, you get a value of i. The value of i is thirty-nine. Now you no need to know. So here it is thirty-nine. Here is thirty-nine minus sixty. So i here it would be i minus sixty. So thirty-nine minus sixty you will get. Okay, thirty-nine minus sixty. So this means minus twenty-one amps because you have seen across AB it, the current is in branch. Across AB it is I. Across BC it is I minus sixty. Across CD it is again I. Across DE it is I minus one twenty. Across EF it is I minus minus fifty. Okay, and across FA it is I minus eighty. So if you substitute this, you will get the value thirty nine. Okay, similarly here you will get minus twenty one. Here again thirty nine. Here you will get around minus eighty one amps. Here you will get around minus eleven amps. Uh, here you will get minus forty one amps. So these notes are already there in uh, the this thing drive link. Okay, I'll again send you the link. So please uh, carry ahead, and we'll stop the classroom here. Any doubts you are having, please let me know. So please raise your hands. Hmm. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, tell me. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Tell me, sir. I am a new student, and this is my first class of electrical. What's your name? Neeraj Kumar, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So, I see already. I have put Neeraj Kumar. Um, you have my phone number, right? No, sir. Okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll, you can take uh, my phone number seven eight. I'll just write down seven eight eight nine six. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, seven eight eight nine six one zero eight one four. So you just message me. I'll tell you what has to be done. Okay. So don't worry. Sir, so, what is the classroom link for E Electrical? Uh, we have not yet created. I'm going to create today. So we are following this link only. Today I'll create and I'll send it to you. Okay. Okay, sir. Hmm? Okay, sir. Thank you. So you just uh, Neeraj Kumar. You got my number, na? Right? Yes, sir. Uh, so you can yeah you can contact me on the number okay and have you joined any uh, link group links for this subject sir no for c section yes sir yes sir i have already joined okay you joined in that link so i am also there in the link okay so you please message me i'll just uh, uh, tell you what has to be done so okay thank you very much so we'll be stopping recording over here thank you sir so